this is my very first pontoon boat or catamaran design. It is not a very successful design. It took me about 45 minutes to assemble the boat. And that's why it's a good candidate for me to recycle the material to build this modular boat. I recycled the foam and cut it into 5 inches tall blocks. I then combined the two foam blocks and made one larger block, which is 27 inches wide, 24 inches long, 5 inches in height. My original plan was to fill the boat with foam blocks, but later I found out I rather prefer to have a seat like a canoe. Besides, these foam blocks will add extra weight to the boat. Therefore, I only use one foam block to provide sufficient flotation to keep the boat afloat in case the boat is flooded. I recycled the coral plast from my old boat and trimmed off the area I couldn't use. Then I drew the new design on it. You can see many old fold lines on the coral plast. I used the, the same old method in making the gunnel. You can go to my website, click the technique button, and then scroll down and you will see links to a few videos discussing how I make the gunnel. You can also use zip ties instead of heat to make the gunnel. I have video talk about that method also. For this boat, the length of the gunnel is only one foot long. That is one foot long at the bow and one foot long at the stern. I will not be folding or unfolding this boat. I decided to fuse the foldable section together to make the bow stronger. I applied heat then pressed hard and fused the fold together. Next, I trimmed off the coral plast as shown here to clear more surface area for heat fusion. Then I defined an area then I will apply heat. I create two fold lines on the surface to help with closing the bow during heat fusion. I applied a lot of heat to the surface of the coral plast and then folded the bow together. I used a piece of wood to even out the force applied to the joint. I kept on applying force to the joint until the coral plast cooled down. The result was very good. There are holes here, and I will use heat to close those holes and prevent water from getting into the inner channels. I heated the tip of the bow, then I pressed down the melted coral plast with the edge of the wood. I wait for the coral plast to cool down completely before I remove the, the wood piece. The channel openings were melted together and formed the watertight seal. I benched the PVC pipe to create hooks for the joint. This was the first time I created a hook using this method. I flattened the PVC pipe and then bent the flattened pipe into 90 degrees. I applied compression force at the bend to keep the assembly as flat as possible. 
it was much easier than I have expected. In my next video, I will show you how I mounted this hook and also built other parts of the kayak. You may have noticed that I have removed all the ads for my videos, and I hope you will like that too. If you find this video interesting, please help me to grow my channel by giving me a thumbs up. I appreciate your support for subscribing to my channel also. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.